Hi friends, thank you for your valuable comments and support for my technical series on metal treatment and metal finishing. Now let me take up a very important uh, I mean, uh, session today. This will be very useful for phosphate uh, manufacturing people, the formulators particularly. Technical tips for phosphating formulators. See, first of all, uh, I have already mentioned about the various types of uh, uh, phosphate. Uh, that is iron phosphate, zinc phosphate and manganese phosphate. So here we are focusing on zinc phosphate. Maybe calcium modified phosphate and trication phosphate also. Okay, right. See, essentially a phosphate coating chemical should contain zinc ion, zinc 2 plus and phosphate that is PO4 3 minus phosphate anion then nitrate nitrate is represented as NO3 minus nitrate anion so nitrate we usually uh, that is a take nitrate as sodium nitrate then copper ion nowadays they incorporate copper also then fluoride in certain cases then nickel so this will give beautiful uh, greenish color also and then nitrite NO2 minus nitrite so you should be able to distinguish between nitrate and nitrite nitrate is sodium nitrate NaNO3 whereas nitrite is NaNO2 sodium nitrate so this sodium nitrite should always be given separately and should not be given along with the bulk of the chemical then manganese 2 plus and uh, it may contain a tartrate or citrate and other organic uh, acids so the very idea is we trigger the phosphate in presence of uh, an acidic condition acidic medium and normally we use uh, for instance that is a citric acid then uh, tartaric acid so such kind of acids uh, will uh, tune the phosphate crystal patterns also and um, sometimes now the latest formulations and advanced formulation we can say it may contain silico tungstic acid okay silico tungstic acid it means it contains silicic acid as well as tungstic tungsten that is wolfram probably that is uh, you have got that element in the bulb you know bulb filament so that is based on wolfram that is tungsten so that is known as tungstic acid and then uh, and uh, please uh, note down the quantity I have uh, roughly estimated uh, in terms of uh, gram per liter for example zinc 2 plus you have got the it depends because you can change actually that is my idea is uh, most of the people they ask me formula but uh, in my opinion with my 35 years experience i don't i don't want to give the exact formula do you know why because better learn from me how to formulate that will be uh, better for you instead of giving one formula and in fact you know very well the quality of the product depends on the quality of the inputs the quality of the raw materials you select Probably that is you may not know uh, that is uh, the purity of the chemical and if I give one formula based on that formula you may work out and for some clients it works out some clients it may not work. It is because of the purity of the chemical also okay. So when you uh, I think that is in my opinion if you uh, want my consultancy I don't uh, give exactly the same formula and uh, it has to be mended see that is it has to be customized so if you learn from me how to formulate that would be better okay so i'll let you know all this uh, chemistry behind the formulation of all these chemicals okay right so here uh, silico tungstic acid it ranges from uh, uh, before that i want to tell something about the zinc 2 plus so make sure your chemical should not exceed 20 gram per liter suppose if you take uh, uh, one liter chemical and the zinc content should not exceed 20 gram okay so there are some tolerance values and you should try to understand the basic chemistry about that you cannot go on adding uh, that is a zinc 
in order to get better performance. If you see, sometimes uh, uh, in we used to uh, say in uh, Tamil, Amurdamam Minjinal Vesham. It means uh, that is when it, uh, let it be, uh, that is Amurdam, Amurdam. It should not exceed, is it not? It may be a uh, universal medicine, but there is a limitation for that. Okay, so it is called a lethal dose in English. Lethal dose. It will be lethal, even it may be a curative medicine, but it should not cross the limit. So, similarly, here that is when you take the Zin 2 plus Ayam, and it is permissible between 2 grams to 20 grams. Do you understand this? Right. And when you take this uh, zinc, and what about the phosphoric acid? Where from you get the phosphoric acid? For example, you know very well, uh, zinc is there, phosphoric acid is there. When you combine these two, it forms zinc phosphate. This is a simple thing. But I will tell you that uh, it's not secret. It is the basic chemistry of coating formation uh, with the help of uh, zinc phosphate. Okay. So I will de deal with that in, the, in my subsequent classes. Now. So here, zinc as a zinc oxide, remember, zinc as a zinc oxide. The zinc oxide is a powder, white powder, where the zinc content should be 2 to 20 gram, clear? And the phosphate, phosphate means the amount of a phosphate. So it, in terms of phosphoric acid, so it is given as H3PO4. So when it's take phosphate means it represents phosphoric acid and that content should not exceed 40 gram, that is 5 to 40. So the same proportion should be maintained. Almost uh, one is to two proportions so should be maintained. Then uh, silico tungstic acid. So this is one of the accelerators actually. So and here you can have the maximum dosage of not not five to two. And uh, you have manganese and manganese. This is two gram per liter. Then citric or manganese ion then citric or lactic or tartaric acids okay and uh, glycero phosphoric acid and it's a salt so you have to take you cannot take all together you have to consider only one uh, that is uh, accelerator one oxidizer accelerator is nothing but oxidizing agent that's all that increases the speed of the reaction and uh, uh, especially this nitrite that tunes the uh, fine crystal nature of the zinc phosphate and let me come back here and I have noted down the maximum load also 0.1 to 1 gram per liter and then so these are all with regard to uh, that is mild steel suppose if your client is interested in uh, develop, I mean uh, developing a coating uh, phosphate I mean zinc phosphate uh, coating chemical for galvanized iron okay so you have to slightly change the formula. So here, uh, for uh, I mean uh, GA, it is my humble suggestion that it should be chlorate free. If it is GA, it should be chlorate free. It means that is you should not put chlorate in your formula. You can replace this with nitrite. Okay. So here we have got Z2 plus, and the load is 0.1 to 1.5 gram only. Okay, so you can find the difference between the ordinary, I mean the mild steel and the galvanized iron. So here we have got a 2 to 20 gram, whereas you cannot exceed here 1.5 gram per liter as far as GA is concerned. So the zinc load should be because it's already galvanized, is it not? So you cannot load further. So zinc 2 plus should be between 1.1 to 1.5 gram per liter. And the phosphate also there is a 5 to 50 gram per liter and the manganese 2 plus 0.2 to 4 gram per liter then chloride ion can be 0.05 to 0.5 so these are all the 1030 formula and uh, as I already suggested you have to supply the accelerator always as a separate pack so here the accelerator nitrite 0.1 to 0.2 gram per liter you can beautifully work out this formula you take simply sodium nitrite and dissolve it so if you take one liter okay the content should be nitrate should be 0.1 gram to 0.2 gram it's a very simple formula you can easily do it okay and then nitrate should be how much 1 to 10 gram per liter or you can add 100 percent some people they take hydrogen peroxide also but in the pure form 
but uh, in my suggestion that is uh, sometimes it is not stable so i won't uh, suggest as uh, hydrogen peroxide in my practical experience i have seen then but these are all one of the formulations uh, in certain countries in certain places it may work out and um, there are some uh, specific uh, accelerators uh, like uh, meta nitro benzene sulfonate please make a note of it meta nitro benzene sulfonate actually this is based on uh, petrochemical products that is a benzene you know very well c6h6 benzene sulfonic acid and in benzene sulfonic acid nitro group is attached in the uh, par i mean meta position so it's called meta nitro benzene sulfonate okay so here you can take 0.05 to uh, 2 gram per liter and similarly meta nitro benzoate can be added okay meta nitro benzoate and similarly you can have para nitro phenol also okay now many guys they are very much interested uh, in uh, taking advantage of cold phosphating uh, i mean uh, for cold phosphating uh, i think that is uh, you can have pei please make a note of it pei so pei means polyethylene imine polyethylene imine so this is one of the very good uh, uh, that is uh, reagent for cold phosphate i can suggest and then suppose if the ph of the bath is 2 then my recommendation is you can go for chlorate or nitrile suppose ph is 5 uh, almost in the less acidic in that case you can use nitrite or hydrogen peroxide okay so likewise we have variety of uh, chemical formulations but all are based on the substrate where you are going to apply okay and also check the hardness of water always make use of uh, dm water or industrial water or potable water uh, for your formulations okay so thank you very much for watching this video i will continue other important points in my next lecture